Hello everyone, I hope that you are all doing well. Is California more polluted than China? California is so polluted, oh my god! So this video, <laughs> this is a video that I saw on on YouTube from a girl, Where is Poppy? That's the name of the channel. And you know, since I'm uh, producing videos about China, YouTube always uh, recommend me uh, to check some videos about China. And I saw this video and Poppy, uh, she seems like a nice person, but honestly, she's really, uh, it got on my nerve. It pissed me off to, to see this. It pissed me off uh, because, you know, when you talk about something, you need to look at the facts. You need to look at the fact. And we have the fact. The fact it comes from the data. How many dead people here? How many? Uh, what's the level of pollution? You know, we, we are clever people. We are able to see the fact. Oh, the fact. How many books here? How many books can you see? What does it mean? What type of book do you have? Oh, these are books of law. Oh, these guys maybe studied law. Oh, if there is, uh, how many, um, at what age do people die? Oh, people die very young in this place of the world. So why do they die so young? Maybe there's the war. Maybe they, you know, you need to look at the fact. And for the hair pollution, we know. We know, and we have the data. So, of course, countries can try to hide, and they can lower. We what we have is we have these data that's called PM 2.5. So PM 2.5 is the measurement, and you have the 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 number of of tiny particles that you have in the hair. That's measure the dust, the dust particles. Okay. So you have the, the value for PM 2.5 that are available to everyone. And I checked and you can compile the data. You can calculate by yourself. So these, these data, usually in China, they calculate, and I think everywhere they calculated every six hours. So every six hours. So if you want to, to, if you want, you can calculate the average over one month or you can calculate the average over one year. All you need to do is add the values and then divide by the number of days or uh, since it's the one value every six hours, you mm, 300, uh, uh, you know, uh, 365 days times two, okay, that's uh, 700, uh, I don't know, 700 something, okay, and then uh, you just take, you compile all the data, PM 2.5, okay, that day that was 70, that day that was 50, that day, that day we had the value of 100, that day we had the value of 500, oh, this day was very, very polluted, it was 1,000, uh, you add it up and then you divide, okay, so that's not very complicated. Morning guys, I just looked outside and it's absolutely stunning. I just looked outside. I just looked outside. I just looked outside. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Uh, in fact, there are some organizations who do this. So you can say whatever you want. It's not polluted here. Oh my god, the sky is so blue. Oh, oh, it's much more polluted. Oh, I checked there. I opened my computer and I checked. This doesn't mean nothing. You have to check the data is over one year, you know? You, you, you. All I did was went on the internet and type in air quality worldwide map. So if you check the data, for instance, I looked for year 2016 for Benjin, the value for PM 2.5 was 73. So that's the values that are given to us by the Chinese authorities, of course. So <laughs> you need to be a bit wary about these. But anyway, 73, 73 PM 2.5. If you compare with Paris, over one year, you are about less than 25 PM 2.5 over one year, you know, so, so that's, what, that's, that's how it is. You, you, that's, that's, that's the values, these are the values. Uh, if you look with, for Los Angeles, you can check and you can compare, I have no idea, but um, for sure, and then for sure the, the level of pollution is lower. Uh, you know, in India, in China, these are countries that are very polluted. Of course, if you take Mexico, Mexico City is very polluted place. And of course, there are specific places that are more polluted than others. Unfortunately, from my experience, 12 years living in China, there are very few places that are not polluted regarding air pollution. Um, the central of China is very polluted, Hunan is very polluted, Hubei is very polluted, the north of China is very polluted. You know, the places where you have less hair pollution is mainly um, Yunnan province, Tibet, maybe Xinjiang. These are the three places, and these are, con these are considered not, you know, not really China, it's like the outskirts, Yunnan, 
Tibet, Xinjiang. These are beautiful places. But seriously, how many foreigners come to China and live in Tibet, in Xinjiang, in Yunnan? Yes, if you are there just for traveling, for holidays, yes, you can go there. That's very nice. But if you come to China to work, it's very unlikely that they will send you to Yunnan or to maybe Yunnan, yes, but to Xinjiang or to maybe maybe Sichuan. Maybe Sichuan is okay. I even I think not not so. Anyway, the the central of China, the coastal areas, they are the big cities, uh, the north. All this is very polluted. Uh, no, because. Where I live, there's barely any pollution. But um, Poppy is quite lucky because she lives in Shenzhen. Shenzhen is okay. Uh, it's a big city, so there is a lot of pollution. There are so many cars. But on the other side, on the other side, uh, it's close to the sea, so it means there is a lot of wind, and this helps a little bit to clean the hair. However, she she only stayed here for a few months, so she's telling us from her experience coming here during summertime. In summertime, she has to wait for winter time. Winter time, uh, and I can tell you, I can tell her, uh, wait until winter time and then you will be, or look at the data, look at the data, don't speak nonsense because what you are doing here, it's very bad. Let me tell you now why it's very bad. You know, because when you have some issue, when you have some issue, you need to look at the fact and say, we have a real issue here. And then you need to ask the people in charge, the government, to solve the issue. And then you need to discuss with the people and say, okay, how, what can we do? What can we do? We don't need to fight. We don't need to kill each other. We can try and do something about it. We can try and do something about it. And the problem is in China uh, uh, about air pollution, things don't change fast, not fast enough. And it will take another 20 years. Uh, you know, when I came in China uh, in 2005, 2006, in Changsha, there were zero car, no car. The only car you had, they were official car. The sky was all blue. There was zero air pollution. You know, it was much better, better than in France, better than in the French countryside huh, at the time, because there was zero car in China. So the only pollution you had, it was from the construction. And even the construction, the real estate boom was only starting. It was not, you know, so there was very, very little pollution. But now every, everyone has one car, sometimes two cars for one Chinese person. And why is that? Because this is what the Chinese government wants. That's what they want, because we don't know anything else. That's what we do here in France as well. That's what they do in the US. That's the gross model. Maybe if you want less air pollution, maybe you need to address this. That's the, ba the basic, the base. Why everybody has a car? If When everybody has a car, of course you have air pollution. The other thing is the waste, the waste of the energy, uh, the, the, ele the electricity waste. So when I'm in China, I go to the sport, I go to the gym, I, I see people that take shower for 30 minutes and the, the electricity is so cheap and sometimes it's even free if you buy the real estate in a specific place the electricity will be give, given to you for free and all this electricity is produced with the coal the coal mining so it's a lot of air pollution uh, even when you talk now they're saying oh we'll replace the car with electric car electric car it's also come from the from the coal uh, coal power plant so it's also a lot of pollution when you are outside in the street also in all over china you have the restaurant the restaurants they will use the coal so they, they they will use the coal as a fuel so it burns everywhere and it's a lot of dust and it's very bad for your health then you have all the construction everywhere that's also produce a lot of dust then you have the, uh, the cars and some cars and some buses and some trucks that are so old when then when they drive you have these huge black uh, clouds uh, behind the car behind the trucks and nobody cares and then you have um, the farmers in winter time they will start to burn the land so they burn the land everywhere and in the, in, in the countryside there's so much pollution because all the farmers are burning the land everywhere and that's how it is these are the real issues. This is where the pollution comes from. This is where the hair pollution comes from. And let me tell you another thing, uh, Poppy, because you don't realize this. Nobody is going to say anything and nothing is going to change. And the other thing is many people are sick. You know, since myself, I, I will share here my experience. Since uh, the last year, I've been starting to cough all the time. <coughs> all the time because in my throat here I have always some kind of cold I always have some kind of liquid here so I was quite worried about it and I went to see a specialist in France in fact he's the best doctor in France for this for the for the throat and for the nose and this guy told me there is no thing I can give you there's no medicines I can give you uh, 
you need uh, to get outside of China. You get, need to get out of this environment. And even told me, uh, in Paris, I cannot guarantee that this might get better because in Paris, we are getting higher and higher pollution level. And there are many people who get this. And that was very interesting for me. He also told me, you need, you know what's happening? When you breast, you breast with the nose, then uh, because there's a lot, many dust, then the nose will protect itself and will start to uh, inside the nose will, will, will become larger and bigger. It means there's less hair that will come through and it will uh, have some liquid all the time. And this li liquid will catch many, many of the dust. But the problem is this liquid is what you have here, you know, and it comes down the throat, you know, it comes down the throat. And then <coughs> every now and then you need to get the liquid out because it's what it is. And sometimes you swallow it or sometimes people spit on the street. And that's what it is. It's just your body tries to protect itself from the pollution. Another thing is I'm talking a lot because I'm talking to the camera, I'm teaching, I'm talking. And when you talk, you breath from the mouth and then your throat will be irritated inside and the, the skin will start to produce some things. Another, and third thing is he looked at, at me and he asked me, do you have any food allergy or do you have any food you cannot digest? And yes, I have this. That's what I got the vitiligo as well because my digestion is not so good. And he told me when your digestion is not so good, then you, this will come up a little bit and your throat will also be irritated. The last thing he told me is don't drink hot things. So I am drinking hot tea every day. And that's also not very good for the skin of the throat. It will irritate it and then you have this. So I'm trying to do my best with the diet, but my diet is already very good. Like you need to avoid alcohol. You need to avoid spicy food. You need to avoid acidic food. Um, you need to avoid Coca-Cola. Even the gas water, you need to avoid it. But anyway, I'm telling you all this because I believe many people have this issue uh, uh, with allergy, uh, 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 difficulties they have the things in their throat of course Poppy just arrived so she's on she's only staying here for one year and I know she's doing this for the views remember to follow my Instagram share this video with your friends give me comments again about places to visit in fact if you give me a comment about a place to visit and I go there I will absolutely mention you in my videos anything that so that's fine, she can say whatever she wants, but you know, in life, when you talk about a serious subject, you need to think twice because some people suffer, some people die, but some people have cancer, and uh, the things have to change, the things has to have to improve, the society has to change, and it's not even specific to China. Uh, one aspect is the growth model. One aspect is, the, is, is, is the way we, we, we build our society based on the cars, based on the construction. That's one aspect. But another aspect is uh, what is a specific country doing about these issues? Are we building more and more roads? Are we selling more and more cars? Or are we really doing something else? Are we do really doing say, saying now stop? Now we don't want the cars. Now we, we don't want the new buildings. Or now we are going to stop all the coal, the coal uh, fuel uh, electricity power plant. You know, all the coal fuel power plant. We stop them. Or what are we doing? Huh? And that's, that's the real questions. Uh, even about the farmlands, what, what's happening? Is, there, is the Chinese government saying now we will not burn this? Or are they saying now we forbid all the fireworks? That's not even the case, right? So what's happening? Not much. You have the data. You have the data. Use the data. Look at the fact. Don't start to blah, 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 blah. You know, that's blah, blah. That's nonsense. You know, you can, you, you can look at the data. Uh, I, I wish I had times and patience to compile all the data for all over China. Like you take uh, Changsha, all the capital cities of each province, and you calculate all, you take all the daily values, and then you take, take over one month or over one year, and you see real the, the level of PM2.5, and you can compare. Okay. Uh, anyway, thanks guys and see you next time. Au revoir les amis.